Woman having a mental breakdown drew a clock, and it helped the doctor save her life. Susanna Callan was just 24 when the doctors admitted her to be insane. The hopeless woman was about to lose her battle until one day, a doctor asked her to draw a clock on the paper. What he saw helped him realize her unpredictable behavior was the result of a very rare disease that others didn't notice. Susanna had been working at the New York Post while being in a lovely relationship. 2009 promised to be a year full of bliss and success for her. Little did she know that her life was about to turn upside down one day. Out of the blue, the woman started to experience random, unexplainable feelings throughout her body. Firstly, she supposed her strange sensations were caused by bedbugs and decided to call an exterminator. But when the exterminator found zero evidence of an infestation in her home, she had no clue what to do next. At that point, Susanna had no idea her life was about to be put on hold because of an illness she wasn't aware she had. Time passed by and the woman became harassed with paranoia, hallucinations and seizures. All these things were so frequent and intense that the woman stopped going to work. She simply couldn't live her normal life anymore. Due to the seizures, Susanna was feeling deeply depressed. She couldn't explain why she was acting like that and went to the hospital. Soon, Callan was hospitalized at the New York University Hospital for further tests. Unfortunately, things got even worse. The woman became progressively violent with his staff and stopped acting like her usual self. The 24-year-old was always raging at her friends and relatives. She didn't want to talk with anyone. Years later, Callan would recall this period of her life as something from a zombie movie. The doctor supposed the woman was suffering from a mental breakdown as her aggression and unusual behavior were the common consequences of such symptoms. They were going to take her to a psychiatric facility where psychologists could examine her behavior in more detail. Luckily, before she left, one doctor decided to re-examine her case and suggested something that would finally make everything pretty clear. Dr. Sowell Najjar didn't want to assume Susanna had a mental breakdown. He believed there was another underlying reason for the woman's aggressive behavior. So the doctor was determined to get to the root of the cause. Dr. Najjar asked Callan to do one simple task that would confirm all his suspicions about her health condition. He asked her to draw a simple clock on the paper. For healthy people, performing such a task would be a piece of cake, but for Callan, it was quite complicated. As soon as she drew it, his suspicions were confirmed. Dr. Najjar was finally able to explain Callan's strange behavior. The woman was not insane, but her symptoms appeared to be the result of a rare brain disease that was affecting her mental faculties. It caused an inflammation on Callan's brain, which induced her body's white blood cells to attack it. Such an attack eventually caused brain damage that stimulated aggressive psychosis. But how did Dr. Najjar understand that? The thing is that the woman drew all the numbers on the right-hand side while the left was completely blank. Callan's image of a clock with no numbers on the left confirmed she had significant brain damage. Finally, there was some progress, and Callan's family could get some answers. Soon, Dr. Najjar diagnosed Susanna Callan with anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis, a rare illness that causes the immune system's antibodies to attack the brain. Suffering from this horrific disease meant to be fatal if left untreated. More than 20% of sufferers passed away from complications. Luckily, Susanna was not one of them. She received life-saving treatment which included a steroid drip to fight the white blood cells from attacking the brain. One month of treatment in the hospital and Callan was healed. After some time, the woman wrote a book where she described her experience while suffering from anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis. The reason for that was her desire to raise awareness of the condition. She didn't want people who are suffering from it to be diagnosed with a mental breakdown as she was. When her book Brain on Fire was published in 2012, it was adapted into a movie starring Chloe Grace Moritz as Susanna Cahillan in 2016. Today, you can watch this emotional and breathtaking movie on Netflix. Nowadays, Susanna Cahillan keeps on sharing her experience with hundreds of people, hoping to save the lives of those who are suffering from the same illness but don't know it yet. Callan is one of the 15% of people who are cured of anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis, but she still has troubles with strong cognitive defects. This rare disease was first discovered in 2007 and is believed to be most common in young women. However, the real cause of it still remains a secret. There is no doubt Callan's experience has changed her life. It's complicated for her to remember who she was before her diagnosis regarding who she is now. 
Her story and her book are a striking message to those suffering from brain damage. Brain on Fire is definitely a must-read to simply know more about our brain and the possible twists of life in general.